Okay, I changed the settings here. I got the subtitles on, and I adjusted the controls so I know what I'm. Uh, I know how to play. So I'm heading to the saloon here, and I don't know how I just pushed that guy down. He just fell on his own, and <laughs> I barely touched him. And I'm glad I have the subtitles on because uh, I know it's probably gonna be some lots of characters and dialogue for missions. So I wanted to see all the characters so everyone out there can see what the characters say and what they are saying throughout the game for the playthrough. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. But uh Again, I'm using my newer controller because this is, uh, I wouldn't consider it a shooter game, it's an action adventure style, um, open world type of game that, uh, I'm gonna be playing. But, uh, I'm using my newer controller instead of my first person shooter controller because my thumbsticks are loose on that controller. And that's why I use that one specifically for the shooter games Call of Duty, Battlefield, all types of shooter type games. And uh, I wanted to at least get uh, the newer controller because I haven't used it often. Still brand new. And I can break in the control sticks and try to get used to some of these controls. So I don't know what to expect, what's going to happen. I'd rather just not have my, my uh, character and my horse move on its own with the thumbsticks going all over the place. Fall off mountains and all that. So if we hold X, we can match his speed with the horse, and by tapping X, we can just uh, keep going faster. So it's, it's, uh, I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to. It's gonna take some time to get used to these controls because it's a lot different. It's no vehicles. This is we're in the West now. <laughs> we're gonna be on horses, so this should be fun. Two crows. So in different parts of the map. I love the sky. I love the graphics of the game too. We're already riding horses right at the beginning. <laughs> and this is only part two. <laughs> you don't look much like no black border fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city, more of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. Yeah. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast, that's for sure. I have no idea where we're headed, but uh, Mercer Station. We're going to like a different part of town, so I'm guessing. You're looking for? Nobody you need to concern yourself with. Never you mind all my Rio questions, Bravo. Mr. Marston. I just reckon you might be barking out of not heading for the fort. We'll see when we get there. Well, I sure as hell ain't sticking around. Fort Mercer ain't no place for an old man like me to be a dawdling around. See that sudden turn back there? It's the the thumbsticks. They're still like it, it's a, yeah, yeah. a a totally brand new controller. <laughs> I need to play it with this more. Breaking the control sticks. I tell you, Mr. Marston, no coyotes, so we hold circle. We can focus on important people, well, places, there, and <clears throat> all sorts of stuff. Fort Mercer, nice little sunset. Listen, Mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Approach Fort Mercer. So next objective here. 
I'm really liking this game already. I didn't even do anything all the way. I didn't barely do too much in the game. Just right out the be the beginning. It's uh really fun. <laughs> so what's here? Bill. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Wow. Bill, please. These guys are loaded. <laughs> Ready to shoot on sight. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Oh! He shot him. <laughs> He's completely outnumbered. Did he kill him? He's dead. Man. It's not like he had a chance anyway. He was out number three to one. All he had was that uh, his little revolver. They had shotguns. Yeah. So much for that. Is he dead? Man, they just blasted him down. Man. Only one shot. New friends and old problems. Oh, it's crazy. Shot him right on the site. He just came there to help him. And I got a trophy. <laughs> that government boy. And I did sign off, uh, just in case, so uh, I don't want to get bombarded with messages and invites of all sorts, like I mentioned before in the first part. So I'd rather just play this offline to avoid messages, invites, and all sorts of things. And he's still alive! He's alive! He survived that! A shotgun blast! Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Good thing they helped him, though. I don't know. How did he survive that, though? Did you want That's a die? miracle. A yeah. shotgun from a shotgun like shot from that close. Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county to die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. 
Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls yeah. that I used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I'm not even going to be able to move the same. <laughs> of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> if I was him, I wouldn't even be moving. I would be trying to relax for now before I even do bother doing anything. You got shot from with a shotgun from that from that distance. He lucky he survived that. Yeah. So here we go. I'm in a different part of town now. So we already know this. I'm moving around with the left thumbstick and the right thumbstick allows you to look around. And check the place out. This is awesome. Man, this guy shouldn't even be, he shouldn't even be alive. I'm surprised. Man, thanks to that doctor. You can see him still hurting. Let's check out the general store. I know I can't buy anything, but I didn't know if it would let me in here. This is nice. It looks amazing. The graphics are dope. So let's head on in here. Talk to uh Bonnie. Back in the land of the living. Well, not Bonnie, but uh, McFarland. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Let's follow her. So there's nothing new, so we can hold circle to focus on the important hall. objects and people on our sur important outlaw. surroundings for the objective. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Pop on up. You won't bite. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. More horse riding. Oh yeah. So we gotta accompany her. store you won't find Parisian high fashion so oh, she's just gonna uh she's giving me a little a little tour of the uh, place I just checked out the general store I just went in there <laughs> and here's the corral this one's for the horses what do you think I'm no expert so I'm gonna be moving all over the place with this thumbstick trying to break this in because uh Still a brand new controller here. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Try to keep up, will you? Come on. So, just some outside interruptions here. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing, but uh, I'm gonna have to cut the little uh, 
little voiceover commentary here because uh, I don't want to have to re-record this or start it over because I hadn't even saved my game yet so if you don't hear me throughout the video I'm still gonna play and play throughout the missions until I can save my game because I don't want to have to redo this all over again because of uh, outside distractions and stuff because every time I try to record it's always like something uh, to interrupt me and stop me so I don't feel like re-recording this all over again so again if you don't hear me throughout the video I'm still gonna continue to play and until I'm able to save my game because I don't want to redo all this over and over again Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Right, follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Mr. Marston, I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Plenty of ground to cover. Come on! If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Actually handle a rifle. 
It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Beautiful wife is no guarantee.